When you watch little Hank Arneson on the move, it's hard to imagine he was born with a serious case of scoliosis. Kind of checking out your new baby and his back was crooked and I thought, oh, that's just how babies are. Hank's mom Katie and dad Tracy were vigilant. When his back continued to look a bit different, they took him to a local doctor who told them the diagnosis. That it was scoliosis. I think it was a helpless no. feeling but thankful it was something that could be fixed. Surgery was essential because the curve in Hank's back would get worse as he grew. So the curve was getting bigger and bigger. And what tends to happen then in congenital scoliosis is not only is that main curve getting worse, but compensatory curves form above and below and they start getting worse. And so all of a sudden that's relatively small abnormality starts affecting a much bigger area of his spine. And so patients uh, start to have problems with back pain and depending on the location of the vertebrae and how severe it becomes, it, it can eventually cause heart or lung problems. Hey Hank, how are you? Mayo Clinic pediatric orthopedic surgeon Dr. Anthony Stans led the team that cared for Hank and that team reached beyond the walls of Mayo Clinic. You see, after diagnosis, Hank's parents took him to Shriners Hospitals for Children, Twin Cities. Shriners has had a long-term relationship with Mayo, so going back 20 or 25 years. And in 2013, it became part of the Mayo Clinic Care Network so that even more patients can access the expertise of Mayo Clinic specialists like Dr. Stans. And access to all the wonderful things they do too was, you know, takes away some of that stress of making those decisions. The stress of knowing your child has a health problem and the stress of handing him over to a team of experts who, during surgery, hold his future in their hands. That was my hardest. Yeah. It's still my hardest. You can't go see him, you can't, you know, no contact, just, you just have to wait for them to come and tell you that your child's okay and get him back. The wait lasted close to 12 hours. Normal spines have vertebrae that are stacked like boxes. Hank had one vertebrae that was shaped like a triangle and that caused the stack to curve. Surgery required removing the triangular vertebrae and reinforcing the spine with hardware. Thanks to new technology, Dr. Stans was able to perform Hank's surgery through two small incisions. This is a three-dimensional model that we make from data that's collected from a CAT scan before surgery. With uh, some computer software, we can identify where on the model our screws and hooks should be placed. So we sort of do the operation on the computer in advance of the surgery and then print out the model and then carry the model with us into surgery. We prayed that the right medical team would be in that room mm -hmm. and I absolutely believe that was that happened. Recovery was a little tough at first, but after a few days, Hank went home to his mom, dad, and baby brother. He was in a body cast for three months. Can you bend forward one more time, Hank? And here, at his one-year post-surgery checkup, x-rays show Hank is almost completely healed. Let's try this. Let's bend as far as you can to the right. Right, and as far as you can. Good job. Dr. Stan says, like all kids who have surgery to correct scoliosis, Hank should avoid high-impact contact sports like football or wrestling. But other than that, Hank, who is almost five, is completely back in action. He is constantly going. He does not stop. He is probably the funniest kid that I know, and he's a fighter.